I don't know about you, but I've seen some good journals go to waste. So after this video, how to start a journal, I'm gonna teach you the three things that you need to keep in mind every single time you start a journal. Let's get into it. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a bonus of my three favorite pre-designed journals that I actually use every single day. So stay tuned for that. And to stay in the loop with all the new videos that are coming out for Heightened Living, make sure to press the subscribe button before we get started. Now, there's three things that I think every single person who starts a journal really needs to get clear with before they start it, because otherwise you're gonna end up with pages around that have no purpose or meaning and you can't find exactly what you need to find when you need to find it, or you'll find a journal a year later that you've been looking for, but only serves the purpose of being used for a year. Now, the first thing to keep in mind when you start a journal is purpose. What is this journal going to be used for? Are you going to use it for gratitude? Is it going to be a morning pages journal? Is it going to be a dream journal? Are you using this journal for work purposes in order to write down ideas and make sure that you're clear in your thoughts daily? This is dramatically important. See, if we don't have our journals set with our purpose, then what ends up happening is we start to write a bunch of hodgepodge all over the place. We don't know where to look when we need to go back and find something. And it ends up being just a chaotic mess of information. Now, when you set your purpose at the beginning, you understand and you know exactly what you need to do in each journal that you own. See, for me personally, one second, I operate out of about five different journals, um, six if you count my old work journal, but their purposes are set and they're clear from the moment that I buy them. Of course, at the beginning, I make sure to open it, write my name, my phone number, reward, do all those things so I can make sure to get back the valuable information that I write down. But otherwise, these journals stay exactly for what they're supposed to be for. If it's for work and for ideas around strategy and planning, it stays for that. If it's around a personal diary type journal where I'm writing down what happened throughout the day, I'm writing down ideas and thoughts that I have about my personal life, it stays with that. If it's a goal setting journal, it stays for that. And if it's a gratitude journal, I make sure that it's only doing gratitude based exercises. That is one of the most important things to do. Set the purpose of the journal at the beginning because it's so easy to just start to, I don't know, I'm gonna edge out and write you know, one other thing. I'm gonna put a little bit of gratitude in my personal journal. What ends up happening over time is that you start to not be able to go through your journal and reread it if you want to do it. And it becomes a mess that you stop using because in your mind, you know, it's not clear and concise what the purpose of the journal is used for. Now, the second thing to keep in mind is frequency of use of this journal. How often are you going to be using the journal? I know a lot of people who start to journal and then I see it under their bed tucked away and they never use it. When you set the frequency or the intention behind what you're going to use this journal for, that's the purpose. And then you understand how often you're going to use it. Like a dream journal, you use it once to four times a night. Yes, you have four dreams every night. I'll get into that in another video. Then you understand that when this journal is necessary and when it isn't necessary. What often happens is journals get left behind, they get forgotten, and all this valuable information that you've been writing down and thinking in your head doesn't get recorded where it should be recorded or when it should be recorded or recorded at all. And I wanna make sure that these thoughts get put on paper because thoughts create our reality. So that is very important. If you're gonna use a journal once a year just to set you know, your New Year's resolutions, or it's a resolution-based journal and you use it maybe three or four times a year, then set that intention because it's awesome to look back at previous years and be able to reflect and see what you've actually done. If it's a gym journal, you're gonna use it three or four times a week. If it's a gratitude journal, you're gonna use it every single morning and also when you're not feeling in the best mind state. These are certain things that you can make sure to set prior because then you'll understand exactly when and how you need to use each of these journals. The third thing to keep in mind when you're starting a journal is the formatting. Yeah, I know that sounds weird because it's one of your own journals and whether it's line paper, graph paper, or there's no lines at all. Learning the formatting at the beginning and making sure to set that intention will allow you to go back and really find what you wanna find. I know a lot of people who like to use journals and they use sticky notes in order to find pages or mark pages that they wanna go back to or ideas that they've had. And by really separating the formatting and making sure that you format your journal, this one journal, not each journal, your one journal, in a specific formatting, it makes it easy to go back in time and see what goes on. See, with my commonplace journal, I like to set the date, the subject of the book that I'm reading, the book, 
and then the page that I found it on, and then the passage. And that makes it really easy for me to go back in time to see what is going on. Because if I'm looking up a book, I can find the book. If I'm looking up a time when I was thinking an idea, I can find the time. And if I'm looking up something about a certain subject, then I can go find that subject. That makes it so easy to search through and find exactly what I need to find. And I know with a commonplace book, Ryan Holiday likes to actually use note cards instead of a book and string them together because that makes it even easier to segment and separate and figure out what you're reading and the ideas that you had during that time. So setting the formatting ahead of time is gonna make it super simple for you to dive back into the journal and make sure that you can find what you're looking for. Now with a dream journal, I understand it's hard. You wake up and it's groggy. Something like a date just makes sense or you star and mark or make somehow highlighted the passages that you really want to refer to. Otherwise, it's super simple to make sure that the formatting in your journal stays the same so that you can go back in time and really make sure to figure out exactly what your intentions were at that time. Now, I promised you a bonus, so I'm gonna give you the three journals, the pre-designed journals that I like to use because they really simplify formatting, they simplify the frequency, and they also simplify the purpose of the journal. Number one is a productivity planner by Intelligent Change. I know I made a video on this recently, and I'm gonna link that video now, but what I do wanna say is that by having a productivity planner, something that you're gonna use daily for work, it makes it so easy to just dive into the work and not think about it. It's like why Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg would wear the same colors shirt every single day because then you don't have to think about what you're doing the next day. You plan ahead of time and you make sure the next day just to show up and do the work. The second book is The Five Minute Journal and it's also by Intelligent Change, but this is a gratitude book. And this is a journal that allows you to really make sure that in the morning and at night, you're having the reflections that you should have. It only takes five minutes a day and it's so easy to use, yet so important in your life. And the third journal is one called the Bullet Journal. I know a lot of people have been getting into this lately because it's a way that we already think. We think in bullets. We think in little pre-designed, pre-selected, short and concise ideas. So the Bullet Journal is a way to make sure to catalog your tasks and effectively execute them. So those are my three bonus pre-designed journals that I really like to use. I hope this helped you learn how to start your journal. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Put in the comments below one of your favorite pre-designed journals or how you use your journals. And make sure to subscribe so I can make more content like this. I wanna thank you for watching the video once again, and I'll see you soon.